Hi guys, this week I'm doing Finding Winnie, the true story of the world's most famous bear. Um, it was the Caldecott Award winner in 2016. The author is Lindsay Maddock and the illustrator is Sophie Blackall. It's published by Little Brown and Company in October 2015. It is a children's nonfiction story as well as a picture book and it's for the ages 3 through 6. Finding Winnie is the story of a man and his bear. Um, when he was on his way to fight in a war in the early 1900s, the veterinar veterinarian Harry Colburn stops at a train station and um, comes across a trapper, a man that's a trapper, who has a baby bear with him. So Harry decides to rescue the bear and he buys him off of the man. Then Colburn takes Winnie with her, or takes the bear with him to the war and decides to name her Winnie so that him and his army can always feel close to home because Winnie is short for Winnipeg where they're from. Um, Winnie goes on to stay through the whole war with them. They teach her how to navigate and she helps them with that. And then after the war is over, Colburn gives her up to the London Zoo. Um, where he can come back and visit her and everything. While she's there, though, Winnie meets a little boy named Christopher Robin Milne, whose father wrote The Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. So, Harry Colburn's Winnie is the same bear that inspired Winnie the, the, Winnie the Pooh stories. The pictures in this book um, are really beneficial to the story because I think they help kids understand the story more as well as give a better connection to Winnie. Um, most of the pictures take up the whole page minus a little spot for the words and I think they're done in like paint or maybe like oil pastels or something but they're really good they have a lot of definition a lot of good shading um, yeah they're really good pictures um, I think a main theme in this story is, um, friendship. I think that this book is good for kids to read because it teaches them a lot about friendship. Um, you know, Harry finds a friend in Winnie first, and she kind of helps him through the war. And then when Winnie's in a new place at the zoo, she finds a friend in Christopher Robin, who comes to visit her a lot, and they have all kinds of fun together. So that is the story Finding Winnie.